we didn't notice mama and calf, so we went searching. Pulled up here and saw a little calf here, all by herself. Hey, princess. Hey, buddy. Hey, Morgan. Hey, girl. Hey, girls. Getting so big and we pretty. Had this late calf it just happens sometimes but she had the calf and then when hey guys we welcome back to cross timbers bison the cubes to the, as we were feeding the Laura cubes to the big joe herd princess kind of wrapping it up we never skin, saw the red dog philly like two years old something. now did you see the red dog did hey, you girl. see the baby calf uh, so sweet and Most nobody saw it so we had to Still go looking for the red dog now. morgan wild back there hey hen it is cube day for the big joe herd me and the girls are going to go out here uh with the truck and we're going to give them some cubes we're also going to check on our new baby and uh, hey, you guys, don't forget something right here. Look who has gotten so big. Guys, I know it's been a long time, but take a look here at how big our wild turkeys are getting. They're getting huge. We have got some ideas about these guys. Marissa and I are, gonna, are going to ban them with their own unique number and color ban here pretty soon. May let them go. Our flock is not as big as we wanted them to be. Of course, when we hatched them out, uh, a while back but but these turkeys are getting so big these are easterns and then there's four there's four black chickens in here as well there these are in here are black ostrilops oh, it's also in here with the turkeys that kind of help raise them and get them going teach them how to eat and drink sort of like a chicken and then there's something i want to talk to you about that you may have been affected by here recently uh, uh social media stuff i want to share with you and kind of some news there that may help protect you and a cross timbers bison operation. I wonder where the little red dog is. Have you seen her? Looks like her mom's up here. There's her mom, 1508. Door slamming scared her. Boy. Here she comes. That was funny. I've never seen that before where the mom leaves the calf that far away from the herd. I don't think we have. So I just, it was kind of, it was cube day with our three seed cattle feeder. We rolled our 20% protein uh, cubes out here along the fence so people can see them it's dry right now so we're putting out cubes and the whole herd came up and we didn't notice mama and calf so we went searching the rest of our property and we pulled up here and saw a little little calf here all by herself completely and the whole herd was way over there 
And we pulled up here and the calf kind of was hanging out and all of a sudden here come mama. And now the whole herd came up here. They want some more cubes. Christy? Hey guys, I'm out here with the Big Joe Herd. There's actually people robbing us right now of our business. In March of this year, our Facebook account was hacked. But what's been going on recently, since then, that account is completely gone and deleted from Facebook. We've been on the phone with Facebook to try to get that page back and it is gone, unfortunately, deleted, gone forever, supposedly according to Facebook. However, there's something worse that's even happened since then. There's been, there's a Facebook page out there that is impersonating to be us. And they've been doing this since about the early part of 2023. They've been doing this for a while now. Well, because our main Facebook page was deleted and gone, this impersonating page has now, has now grown to over 7,000 followers. And, but that's not the bad part. This impersonating page has became the Cross Timbers Bison page. This impersonating page is scamming people into buying bison boxes. And so what they're doing is they're direct messaging people, our followers, our customers, and people just like you, just bison lovers and fans of Cross Timbers Bison, trying to get them to buy bison boxes. Well, unfortunately, a lot of people have fallen into this trap. They're also copying and pasting verbiage of our sticks, our jerky, and our meat boxes directly from our Cross Timbers Bison website. They're taking the information, they're posting on their Facebook page, and you can go in, direct message these people if you're interested in buying a box, and you can purchase a box. Thank you for your help and support. She gets it. She understands. Because it involves you. Yes, thank you. Sweet girl. Once you go in and people are actually buying these boxes, when you buy a box, you're donating to these random people. Take a look here at some of these people that they're getting you to buy boxes from. You have to donate through PayPal to these people right here. We don't have any hired employees. I have a CEO and that's my wife because she's the boss. That's it. It's me, Marissa, and Kevin. That's it. Those are the only people. And Kevin works, has a career somewhere else full time but kevin helps us so what we did we had a friend of ours who likes to do this kind of stuff and supports our channel and wants to help us out actually go in and talk to these people here are some of the messages that they went back and forth about and here's the process of what they do so when people go to donate they actually are spending 150 170 dollars they'll never receive a bison box and so what has happened is we get an email wondering where their bison box is. Unfortunately, I've had to write back several emails and reply to these people that have been scammed impersonating Facebook page. And it's sad to see because there goes business. They could have actually bought a bison box from us, jerky from us, sticks from us, and they'd have got the product. And so if you're one of those people that have been scammed, I am so sorry that you've gone through that. Here's the part, guys, we've done everything that we can to try to get the page deleted. We've had to start our own Facebook channel over from scratch. There's a couple ways to distinguish if you're interested in following us on Facebook. If you're not, that's okay. If you're looking for our channel, it is our black logo. It is our original black logo. I'll put it right here for you. Check it out. This is the official Cross Timbers Bison Facebook page. I manage it myself. If you see the white logo, we have a white logo too. That is the impersonating page. It looks like this right here. This Facebook page is the scammer are fibbing people in to losing their money. Hey, Peaches. By the way, if you're interested in buying a meat box, 100% bison jerky, merch, any of that stuff, if you're ever interested in it, the only place to buy it, guys, is at crosstimmersbison.com, our webpage.
That's it. Our website. That's it. You can't buy anywhere else. They've blocked us, so we have no access to this Facebook page whatsoever. I have to use my friends' phones to actually see what they're doing and what's going on. Not only are they copying and pasting from our website, the descriptions of the meat boxes, the sticks, and the jerky to try to get you to buy it. They're copywriting our YouTube videos as well and playing it on there and getting lots of views. Guys, that's not our Facebook page. Please help us out. You can go to their page and find the three little dots on the profile, click it, you can click on each of their videos. You can click on each of their little advertisements and descriptions of the jerky and the sticks and those things. There's three little dots up in the corner and you can click those and report this page. If you're not on Facebook, that is completely fine. No worries. This is actually something that is crushing our family business that we're trying to build and grow that runs and currently operates this entire operation. Here's the fun part. So they've been taking our videos and putting them on their profile. Do you think they'll use this video? And if they do, it's going to be hilarious. <laughs> I hope they use this video and I hope they see it and they know that we're talking about them. Hey girl, I'm going to slide over so you don't get too close to me. Unfortunately, I don't like to bring negative stuff to your attention. So after I recorded that, just a couple of days later, these scammers are trying something new now. And this really may affect you because we've had a lot of feedback on this. Obviously, I mentioned that we don't have any employees at uh, Cross Timbers Bison. We've never hired anybody within our operation. It's literally me and Marissa and Kevin who helps us quite a bit and then my mom occasionally. And of course, friends and family whenever. But we've never hired a full-time employee. These guys are now posting jobs on this Facebook Please, I know I don't. I think they have the term. The, I think they have the comments turned off, and of course they block me and Marissa, and a lot of people in our family. But if you have access to this Facebook page and want to help us out or want to check it out just to see all the drama that's going on here, you might want to take a look at it. And maybe you've been emailed, and maybe you've or maybe you've inquired about a job for Crosstimers Bison. But they're posting jobs now that we're hiring, and they're actually signing off as Dusty. I'm not posting a job. We don't need employees. We run a small, small bison ranch, guys. Uh, I appreciate you applying. They are baiting you in to something bad. Now, I don't know if they're trying to eventually get your identity or what, but they're saying they're going to send you a check right up front uh, so you can go buy computers and get set up for this remote position. That's the job they're posting. It's a remote position to work for Cross Timbers Bison. So, guys, be aware we are not posting any jobs. I did have a conversation finally with Facebook on the phone. This is about the 10th or 11th conversation I have with them within the past three months. Well, they told me that they would look into it. Of course, that's what they always say. But they finally emailed me back on a resolution or, or a result of what they came up with. And they basically said this. To me, I'm really confused at how this doesn't violate anything. None of this makes sense of what they're doing. They're scamming people, people are losing money, they're using our names, they're using our brand, they're using our logo, they're using our content from YouTube. You guys tell me how Facebook cannot turn them down. I do not understand that, how Facebook cannot shut these people down. It's sad and it's part of the world that we live in and especially if you're on social media, it's, it's part of it. I think there's many influencers out there who have been hacked, but when they're scamming people for fake jobs and money, this is upsetting. And when we're trying to get this out so we can protect you guys from all of what's going on. So if there's any way you can help us, I don't know exactly what to tell you. We'd appreciate you trying, making comments, doing whatever you can to help us because I, unfortunately people are being damaged in this and they're dragging our name through the mud and it doesn't look good and there's nothing that I we can do at this point and Facebook will not help us sorry for having to bring that to you but thank you guys for watching us we'll keep on Boston ranching